it's Tiffany and I am here with the Barbie Career of the Year for 2018 and it is Robotics Engineer. I want to thank Mattel for sending these over to me to open up with you guys today. So with only 12% of engineers being female, Barbie is doing her part to inspire girls in STEM with a new Career of the Year doll, Robotics Engineer. By exposing kids to STEM through play, they may develop a passion for it that could lead to a lead to pursue a job in the STEM field. STEM field. Barbie has more than 200 different careers, many in fields underrepresented by women. This isn't the first time Barbie has explored STEM. Some of her past careers of the year included computer engineer, Mars explorer, and video game developer. I do remember last year was video game developer. The Robotics Engineer doll is launching in tandem with the Barbie Careers programming experience with Tinker, an award-winning computing platform used by one in three U.S. schools. These are all the variations of the Robotics Engineer Barbie that I know of. And let's turn one around and see what it says. Let's see what it says. That box is not sitting right. <laughs> it says robotics and robotics engineers use science, technology, engineering, art, and math to create all kinds of robots. They also use coding to program their robots to perform useful tax tasks. Engineers are creative. They have good teamwork skills and excel at problem solving. Robotic engineers work in the automotive, aerospace, nuclear, textile, and computer industries, among many others. Their robots help build things like cars, explore space or deep underwater locations, harvest crops, and some even perform surgery. Robotics engineers also design and build robots for special effects in movies and create animatronics for theme parks. Some robotics engineers even design robotic toys. If you love design and technology, you can be a robotics engineer just like Barbie. Man, I want to be a robotics engineer now. They made it sound so good. It looks like each of these Barbies come with a computer and a robot. I really do like the background as well. Very, very, very tool-like. <laughs> Got lots of tools and, and wires and stuff. It looks so good. Let's go ahead and get all four of these Barbies out so we can take a closer look at them. Here's our first Barbie out of the package. She has a robot. The robot is really cool, really detailed. Um, it's not really, I mean the arms move, the legs really don't move. Does the waist move? Oh, the waist moves, so that's good. So the waist and the arms move, but these are kind of flexible-ish, but try not to bend them too much because they're not meant to move. Now, I don't think the head moves either, no. But it is very, very detailed. You can see it looks really amazing. I love it. Got everything going on. And then we'll just set that over there. And then of course she has her laptop in her hand. I left that in there, we'll, just so you guys can see it that way. And then we'll look at an open one in just a second. But we have, her hair's just up in this, this updo. And then we have these goggles. Now the goggles do come off and then this plastic piece would come off right behind it. But I really like this because you know, you can flip it up and they're attached. And I don't think I could take the plastic bit off without unattaching the entire thing. So I'm just leaving it like that. It looks really good. So I like that. Face sculpt looks amazing. There you go. That's what it looks like. And then we have this kind of like jean looking jacket with a cool little t-shirt. I think it's a t-shirt tank top underneath. And it kind of reminds me of, you know, circuit board kind of thing. Is that what I'm thinking of? I don't know. I'm not a robotics engineer. But the the jean jacket is really cool because if you look at it closely, it's it kind of also looks like a circuit board. I don't know if you guys can tell. It's not necessarily a jean jacket. Um, and this is a very thin material. This is also a very thin material. But they're two different materials. This one's more soft. This one's more rough. And then she has just these pants, regular basic pants on. And of course, you could take all this stuff off. Um, this would just un come off of the back and then the, the shirt over here I think is not is apparently not not velcro I thought it was you just flip that over her head these pants are velcro though and then she has these cute little white sneakers on I like those nice comfortable shoes I still have the little plastic bits on them my bad I don't have to try to take those off but this outfit looks really nice and I'm really excited for these they look so cool let's look at the other ones and before we do, we'll look at a laptop. So this is what the laptop looks like. It's purple, it has the Barbie logo on it. Can it open? Here, it should open right here. Ooh, okay, you have the robot right on the screen there. You have all the key, oh my gosh, the keys are raised. They feel so cool. So she's ready to program. That's really neat. I like this little laptop, that's so cool. 
So here's the next a variation of our Barbie friend. I like this one. What? What happened to your hair? Oh, I think I got, there's still some like packaging on it. <laughs> Whoops, my bad. Anyway, her hair is really cool. It It's like a, um, it's a brown with maybe like black highlights or a black with brown highlights. I don't know how well you can tell. And here is her face sculpt. She looks beautiful. And her her goggles will sit on top of her head a little bit better and because she has a low ponytail. And then she has the same outfit on, same laptop, same pants, same shoes. Her shoe seems to be coming off there though. Let me put that back on. She's looking so cool. I love her hair, it's super soft, and I love the color of it. It's so cool. Next, let's look at this girl, I like her hair. It's crazy. Look at that. It's like a um, burgundy color. Is that what I'm thinking of? It's really cool. And here's her. The ones with the. I guess her 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 goggles can sit on top of her head pretty nicely. So there's her face sculpt. She has, she has nice, prominent, blushy cheeks. And same outfit, same everything. By the way, all these dolls are art articulated at the shoulders, but not and at the at the hip, like the leg here. But that's it. They're pretty basic in that sense. And then the last one, and of course we got a robot with everybody. You know, we got all the robots. It's a big, it's a big coding party right here. We have this Barbie. I think her hairstyle is my favorite. I really like the really high ponytail for the Barbie. I think it looks so good. But here's her face sculpt. It's kind of like the classic Barbie. Classic. And let's put her goggles back on. She's wearing the same outfit. I took the laptop off of her, so that's why she's free. She's like, hey, hey guys, hey, become a robotics engineer today. It's fun. <laughs> but same outfit, same everything. I think her hairstyle is my favorite. I'm not sure which hair color is my favorite. I kind of like the cool burgundy one, but I also like the black with all the highlights in, but I also like the blonde, and I also like, I don't know, there's just there's so much going on. I like everybody. In the comments below, let me know which one of these four robotics engineers is your favorite. Make sure you give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe because I post new videos every single day. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time. Bye!